The first thing that paralyzed patients want to do is to play with their children. Locked in patients are totally paralyzed and cannot move anything and cannot speak. The only thing that's working as usual is their brain. If such patients get back body control, this would be fantastic and would change also life for other paralyzed patients or stroke patients. This means it would help millions of people worldwide. Locked in patients cannot perform any movements or verbal communications. Therefore, we have to measure each activity with this electric cap called gamma cap. We put EEG electrodes on the head and use a system that is capable to measure brain impulses when patients want to do something. We record these electric pulses and analyze them to control objects. Recently, we realized a fantastic system called Intendix that allows a subject to spell words just with mental activity. For brain-computer interface control, EEG electrodes are placed over the brain regions that are processing this information. These electrodes are recording the activity of many neurons at the same time, and from the signals we can extract the characters that the person wants to spell. And now with such a system we can also control other applications like Twitter, Facebook, smart homes, robotic devices and many more. To realize such a brain-computer interface, we need a large team. We need people performing EEG measurements, hardware developers building the electrodes and amplifiers, software programmers doing the signal analysis, and also people participating in studies. Also, we need international cooperation to discover new ways of doing it. Today, we started a brain computer interface system that is using four flickering boxes, which act as movement controls. First, they plugged me into the brain computer interface, and all I have to do is to look at the flickering boxes. This is used to calibrate the system on my personal brain signals. It took me about half an hour to learn to do this correctly. All I have to do, basically, is to look at the boxes. But if I try too hard, it doesn't work anymore. Now we switch to a computer game in which an avatar has to be controlled. The user can move the avatar forward, left and right. This allows him to explore the huge gaming environment of World of Warcraft. The system allows even to play with other users and teams and to experience adventures. If levels are completed, the avatar gets experience points and becomes stronger. Our goal with this project is to give patients a sense of embodiment back. They should feel their avatar is an extension of their own body and this gives them back some locomotion. And even more important is that the patients appear in social networks not as paralyzed people, but just like anybody else. In future we will push this technology to be faster, more accurate and easily available together with all our fantastic people at GTEC and with our cooperation partners in different European research projects like Verin.